Hey, welcome to Game Therapy. I'm Brooks Gibbs with Mayana and Brayden, and we're gonna play a game called The Alphabet Game. It's an improvisational game, lots of fun. You gotta know your ABCs. Now, here's how it works. You gotta start off each sentence with a letter of the alphabet, and you have to do it in order from A all the way to Z. And if for some reason, in the process of the game, you forget what letter you're supposed to start with, I'm gonna jump in and take your place, and if I forget, you can take my place, and we'll just rotate and see who's last standing. Now, we're gonna take a scenario of a parent. No, wait, let's do student and teacher. Okay. You be the teacher, you be the student. Okay. And you're gonna be upset about something. I don't know what you're gonna be upset about, but it's not good. So let's get positions right here, and we'll go in five, four, three, are you really asking me for more extra credit? B plus does not look good for me. <sighs> Can't you understand that I've done everything I can? This is on you. Don't tell me that this is on me. Everyone in this class knows that you don't try. You just sit on your iPad, watch whatever show you're watching, the Kardashians, I don't know. Whoa, Fred is on his iPad too, and he watches the Kardashians more than I do. <laughs> Get a hold of this. This is on you. We're not talking about Fred. We're not talking about Susie. We're talking about you. Help me then. Help me to learn how to focus. I have done all that I can and want to do for you. You need to fix this. Just in case, if I want to learn how to be a better student, how would I even start? Keep attention in class and stop talking to the person next to you. We both know who that is. Leslie and I have very fun conversations. It just happens to be in the middle of yours, okay? <laughs> Make no mistake, Leslie is an A-plus student, and if you talk to her, she'll probably help you, but just not during testing. <sighs> no matter what I do, if I'm talking with my friends or if I actually pay attention, I still don't do well. Oh, really? Please, just maybe on my next test, Boost me up a little bit just because, you know, I'm having this conversation with you right now. Quit talking as well, right? Really? You want me to quit talking? That's horrible. I can't, I can't, I can't quit talking. <laughs> Say you'll quit talking and I'll, I'll, I'll overlook this little mistake of yours. Thank you. Thank you a lot. You know, I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna try to stop talking, take the voice level down and really pay attention to you next time in class. Understand, I'll be watching you carefully. I can't learn my alphabet. <laughs> Very understandably, I will know that you have helped me and this is what I deserve. Well done. I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah. Xavier's gonna get in trouble too for talking, right? Because he talks a lot. You worry about you and I'll worry about Xavier. Zelda also <laughs> needs to be held accountable, just for you to know. She's, she's the worst out of all of us. Go to the principal's office! <laughs> all right, good job, everybody. Come back. Well done. You know, we got hung up there on the Z and oh, yeah. uh, maybe the X and whatnot. And as you guys know, the alphabet is very foundational for vocabulary. If we didn't have it, we wouldn't know how to talk. But have you ever heard of the ABC theory of emotions? It's the foundation of understanding how to control how we feel. Watch this video clip and enjoy. Everybody in this room say A. Now say B. Now say C. A stands for the aggression. Someone comes up to you and they say, I don't like you. That's the A, the activating event. And immediately after A, C is triggered and that's your emotional consequence. That hurts my feelings. And we are convinced wrongly that they hurt our feelings. They made us angry because we were doing just fine, enjoying our yogurt until some random dude comes up to us and says, I don't like you. And then we're flooded with negative feelings. See, I feel, therefore it's real. They made me angry. I call that the illusion of aggression. No one can make you angry. No one can hurt your feelings. No one can upset you. You anger yourself. You upset yourself. You hurt your own feelings. You need to say, well, they contributed though. Yes, they were the contributing factor, but they were not the cause to your pain or your suffering. In between A and C is the letter what? 
B, and that stands for your belief system. It's what do you think about what they say? That's the question. What do you think about what they say? A, activating event, I don't like you. B, your belief system processes what they just said, and if you're a rigid person that demands no one disrespects you, they must not be rude, they better be respectful, they have to invite you to that party, they better not talk bad about you behind your back, you must be respected. If you have a rigid belief system of how people must treat you, based on that rigidity of that belief system, you will have a negative consequence. I don't like you. But it was never about the activating event. That same person that's mean can say the same mean thing to somebody else and they don't care. So it's not the activating event that determines whether someone has an emotional consequence. It is always the belief system that one has about the activating event. And the students that are well-adjusted and not hypersensitive and not vulnerable to emotional pain do not live rigidly, they live a more flexible belief system. So someone comes up to them and they say, I don't like you. And the emotionally healthy, well-adjusted person says, I don't really care. I'd like you to be nice, but you don't have to. I'd like to be invited to that thing y'all are doing, but it's a free country. You can invite whoever you want. The flexible, emotionally resilient, well-adjusted student doesn't have high expectations or rigid demands on anybody. They keep their expectations low. They give up the grip of their demands. And they're pleasantly surprised when someone's nice to them. 